Illinois Audubon has owned this property for 26 years, and 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 for 50 years before that, it's been an example of just a succession of whatever grows here has grown here. And over those years, what we've experienced is just a, a, a large amount of, of invasive, invasive non-native species. And it's really, in a lot of cases, although it's real green, it's created a, uh, a monoculture of, of just certain plant species. And what we're doing with the removal of some of the Siberian elm trees and other and non-natives in the back is to be able to make room for the replanting of, of native trees and plants. What we're trying to do is uh, we're using what some would consider environmental resource recovery equipment, the Fecon Bull Hog, and we're running a Lofness uh, carbide mulcher. They're high speed hydraulic driven rotors, which basically shred the trees to mulch. A nice lady named Marjorie Adams who gave us this house in 1897. She was born in the house in 1897, the same year Illinois Audubon was formed. Her grandfather first acquired this property in the mid 19th century. At the time it was a fruit orchard and it was a fruit orchard up until about the 1930s when Miss Marjorie's father passed away and she then lived the rest of her life until she died in the early 1980s uh, here at the house and when she died she gifted the property to the Illinois Audubon Society. So we have, uh, we've restored the original home that was built in 1857 and built our headquarters onto it. So I, you know, I think a, a testament to her and her family. I think they'd be pretty, pretty happy with what we're, what we're doing here in terms of restoration on the property.